If you're in a relationship, you may be wondering if your relationship would be considered a de facto relationship. Hi, I'm Jennifer Sorensen. I'm a family lawyer here at Turnbull Hill Lawyers, and I'm here today to speak to you about the definition of a de facto relationship. De facto relationships can be hard to define. Generally speaking, you'll be in a de facto relationship if you are not legally married, you are not related by family, and having regard to all of the circumstances of your relationship, you are in a relationship where you are living together as a couple on a genuine domestic basis. Whether or not you're in a de facto relationship is a determination of fact. This means that a judge decides if you are in a de facto relationship based on the evidence you provide. In determining whether two persons are in a de facto relationship and living together as a couple on a genuine domestic basis, all of the circumstances of your relationship will be taken into account, including the following. The duration of your relationship, the nature and extent of the common residence, whether or not a sexual relationship exists, the degree of financial dependence or interdependence and any arrangements for financial support between the parties, the ownership, use and acquisition of property, the degree of mutual commitment to a shared life, the care and support of children, performance of household duties, the reputation and public aspects of the relationship, whether your relationship is or was registered under a prescribed law of a state or territory. Some people ask, how long does my relationship need to be before I'm considered a de facto? Under the law, generally there is not actually any set period for people to be together to be considered de factos. You may not even be living together in a traditional sense and still fall into the category of being in a de facto relationship. However, in order to be eligible for certain family law rights, your relationship must meet certain criteria. These include living together for a two year period, having a child together, circumstances where one of you made a significant contribution during the relationship and a failure to recognise this would result in serious injustice and where the relationship is registered under a prescribed law of a state or territory. If you agree with your partner that you're in a de facto relationship and wish to clarify your status, most states and territories in Australia allow for a relationship to be registered. Couples who are not married can apply to register a relationship in New South Wales. The relationship register provides legal recognition for a couple. A couple does not have to live together to be eligible to register their relationship. If you're not sure about your relationship status, some important things to remember include, not every relationship will be a de facto relationship, all of the circumstances of your relationship will be considered, and you should seek specialist advice in the event you're unsure whether your relationship is a de facto relationship. Every relationship is different, so if you have any questions in relation to this, then please don't hesitate to contact the family law team here at Turnbull Hill Lawyers.